Welcome to Foam Roller Pilates Mat. For class today, you just need your mat and your foam roller. And of course, if you have any other props or things that you like in your practice, definitely grab those as well. We're going to start laying the long way on our roller. So hips way down at one end of the roller, and then your head fully supported on that other end. Give yourself a moment to just kind of settle in on that roller. Let your shoulders drape open. Maybe just notice how your hips are on the roller, how they're sitting on the roller. And do a little check in with your legs. It's always up to you where you want them, but you'll notice the wider they are in the mat, the more stable, kind of solid you feel. The closer in towards your midline, towards your center you bring then, you'll get a little more wobbly. You have to work on that balance a little bit more. All right, let's just bring our awareness to our breath. As you take an inhale, pull the breath in through your nose and feel the front of your chest, side of your chest, and back. Expand, and then as you exhale, have that sense of just forcing the breath out, feeling your abdominal muscles wrap inward and upward. And let yourself take a couple more breaths like that as you breathe in. Imagine your chest is like a big red balloon. As you inhale, you're kind of envisioning that balloon blowing up. It's almost, almost going to pop. It's really big. And then as you exhale, the balloon lets all its air out and it shrinks in. Let's do one more breath like that. Big full inhale, expanding your chest in all directions. And then as you exhale, letting out all of the breath with just that little core awareness moment. Energize those arms. Let's start with some circles here. We'll take an inhale, lift the arms straight up overhead. Your working level, how big? And then as you exhale, open and circle and come all the way back around. Inhale, time your breath so that as your arms get overhead, you have that like kind of chest full of breath or your balloon is expanded. And then exhale, open and circle and get rid of all the breath as you come back around. Inhaling as you're filling up, 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 up. And then that exhale, open and circle and come all the way around. Let's do one more in that direction. Inhale, fill up. Just bring that awareness to that breath coming in. And then exhale, reaching out through the fingertips as you're coming around. Let's reverse directions. Palms up to the sky. You're going to open the arms and circle overhead. And then you're going to press the arms long beside you. Inhale, big expansive breath. And then that exhale as you press the arms down beside you. Let's do two more. Inhale, we'll open circle. Always your range, right? And coming back down. Let's do one more. Let's stop halfway on this one, so it'll be kind of a half a one. Open and circle, bring the arms forward and you're gonna pause right over top. Your shoulders, rotate your palms to face each other. Lift your shoulders, reach up for the ceiling and then pull your shoulder blades around the roller. Inhale as you lift and exhale as you hug around the roller. We get that lift and reach up. And then that hug around the roller and our lift and hug. Try some shoulder rolls, rounding the shoulders forward and then round them back or backwards. Let the shoulder blades settle back in around the roller. Do a big open of the arms, a chest fly kind of action. Maybe you go all the way to the floor and press in. And then just bring the arms back over your shoulders. Notice your breath. Inhaling as you open, reach. Maybe hold those moments on the floor, pressing in. Exhale as you come back. Let's do one more. 
As those arms come back over shoulders, do a check in, let the shoulders settle in a little more. Let's do some helicopter arms. We're gonna scissor once and twice, and then exhale, open, circle the arms, or half circle them, and then we do it again. Scissor and scissor. You're exploring your range. Open and half circle to come on out. Inhale for that scissor and scissor. Exhale, open, half circle to come around. Let's do one more. Scissor, scissor, open, and half circle. And then let's just bring our hands to the mat beside us. Maybe pull our heels back toward us a little bit. Let's do a little pelvic rock where we're going to lift our sitting bones round our low back. Tip our pubic bone away. Let's do a little arch. Sitting bones lift, abs pull in, tip our pubic bone away, do the little arch. As we're rocking, we're just kind of noticing our hip movement, noticing our low back. Right? I always notice as I do these, I feel like I get a little more ease in my movements. Feels like my low back kind of loosens up a little bit. Right, which is of course what we want. We want to use that movement to help us kind of gain our mobility, have that sense of ease. Let's do one more, just those rocks. And then we'll head into a little progressive bridging. So hands are pressing firmly in, heels are pulled back towards you. We're gonna do our pelvic tilt, what we just practiced, and then lift up just that intersection up off the roller and then try to roll down through that section and release. The next one will tilt the hips, lift up two inches, and then rolling down through those two inches as you come back down. Next up, we'll go three inches. This should be about half of what you could do, half of your full range. And then kind of rolling down through that bottom half of our spine, trying to use our abs to push our back almost into that roller. That's how my brain thinks of it. Let's go to four. This is just past that halfway, not quite as far up as you can go. Five's gonna be our full range. Roll back down, four, three, two, one. Release the hips, and then let's do a five. So take your time on these, though. Pelvic tuck, still that sequencing, one, two, three, four, five, and then work your way down. Four, three, two, one, and release hips. Let's do that one more time. Pelvic tilt, lift up one, two, three, four, five, work your way down. Four, three, two, one, and release. Give your hips a little shake side to side, a little wag if you were a dog kind of wagging your tail and then come back center. Side bend, right arm comes up by my ear, left arm is staying on the mat or my hands on the mat. I'm just kind of sliding it down the mat so I can get a little side bend on the roller without falling off and then back to center. Inhale as you reach. <laughs> Exhale to come back. Focusing on that big breath and noticing how it gets us a little more movement. And coming back big and now into that side bend. And then exhale back to center. Let's carefully slide off our rollers. We'll put those rollers behind us next. Head into a little bit of that arch and curl. So rollers somewhere on your upper back. Mine feel like they're a little like right underneath the tips of my shoulder blades. Really, it could be your favorite spot. I'm gonna support my head, and then I'm gonna just do that first kind of back bend. Feels like I'm hanging over my roller. And then I'll pick my head and chest up, use my abdominal muscles to curl back up. All right, support your head. Don't like pull on it or do anything that's uncomfortable on it, right? Get supported, but you want that focus kind of here at our center doing the work. Not that your neck won't work a little on there. 
All right, one more coming up and then let's just roll out that upper back. So upper back, mid back, tops of shoulders, kind of all of our backside. I often kind of start at the top of my shoulders and we'll work my way but down, but you can always do it your way. Remember, there's lots of surface area on that backside. So explore, kind of lean over to one side, do some rolls in the middle, kind of using our legs here just to shimmy around back and forth. When you find spots, I'm sure you will, that feel like, oh, I just want to stay there, stay there for a little bit, or kind of focus on one area. Maybe kind of start off and do some rolls that are like exploratory just to see how everything's feeling. And then you can come back to any spots that feel like they need a little extra attention. Always good. Remember as we head into this rolling sequence here, if I keep moving on and you need to want to stay at a spot, definitely do, right? You know your body, you want to use this time to focus on what needs it most. I'm gonna head to rolling my neck. So I will take that roller underneath my neck and my head and then you can adjust your pressure by kind of pushing your head back into the roller and then just exploring some movement. So you might start with something like a turn your head side to side. You could do some nods like you're saying yes. Maybe some circles there. No right or wrong, just kind of that explore time. We're pressing that roller in right at the base of the skull into the neck as well. And just kind of seeing what we find. If you find some areas that are a little tender, feel like they need it, hang out there a little bit longer. We'll go ahead and head into rolling up the rest of us, starting with those hips next. We're gonna sit up on our rollers, shift over onto one hip, and then starting with just our, I'm gonna call it the glute roll. It's a little more than that, but really rolling through our butt. Right here. I'm over on one butt cheek. I'm rolling from the top of my hip through the glutes, all the way down to my sitting bones, and then anywhere and everywhere in between. Now you can I kind of start up here with my arms straight. Oftentimes I'll pop down on my elbow. Remember, positioning wise of the body does not have to look like mine. Do what works for you. Um, I'm sure to find lots of spots through those hips. Um, you can do action where the roller goes up and down the mat. You can also kind of pause the roller and then do things like turn your body toward the roller and up toward the ceiling. I especially love that right at the top of my hip bones. This feels good to me. Remember just to explore as much of that kind of surface area as you can. Any spots you want to stay a little extra, you can always stay. It'll keep us moving through, through the body. Next up, our sacrum scrub. So it's kind of a little transition to the other side. I have both hands behind me. I'm just taking that roller across my sacrum. Mine, I'm taking a little bit up into my low back even. I'm still hitting some of the glutes as I come up and down. I always think that's kind of interesting since I rolled that right side, I can tell the difference already right to left, even as I'm doing this. And then whenever you're ready, you can shift to that other side. So adjust your body however it works for you. Right? We're rolling through those glutes, probably all the way up toward the top of that like hip bone, all the way down to like your sitting bone as you're as you head towards your leg there. And then anywhere in between on there. Now you can have the arm straight, you can be on your elbow, you can shift, shimmy. I would encourage you to kind of get creative and kind of follow what your body is telling you <laughs> might feel good and try it out. All right, remember you can just hold still and then roll your body or twist toward the roller and away. Not a right or wrong. On here, we're just using this time to do some roll 
what I like to call that roll and release and kind of target any places that are feeling tight to you. up let's head to those hamstrings we'll go to backs of legs so thighs on the roller we're going to push ourselves up some great upper body strength and we're going to pull ourselves back and forth across the roller now you can do both legs or you could do one leg at a time definitely explore external rotation knees out internal rotation knees in whether you're doing it with one leg or two and we're really just hitting those hamstrings backs of those legs in all of the tissues around them. Again, lots of surface area there. So just little shifts and shimmies as you're doing those are gonna make a difference. When you're feeling ready, take the roller down to those calves. Let's start with the roller mid calf, probably halfway between your ankle and your knee. Let your feet just do some big circles for me. And as you do that, you'll just feel those calves kind of moving around on the roller, getting some some massage time, and then we'll reverse, go that other way, big circles, open your toes, get lots of movement in your feet, ankles, and then we're gonna roll out those calves. So starting down maybe by those ankles, you can do these both at the same time. My favorite is to kind of stack one leg and do one at a time. And I'm gonna start, and I'm just doing some little bend and straightens of my leg. I'm shifting or internally rotating, internal, externally rotating, so that I kind of hit all of the surface area. And after I've done a little section, I'm just gonna pull the roller toward me a little bit and do the next section. So just kind of working my way up the leg. If you wanna lift your butt at any point for extra pressure, definitely you can. Always an option on there. And just exploring. Here I'm doing like a little rock side to side. I have the pressure of my top leg and then I'm just rocking through with it. And if you're like me, I gotta do little sections. And remember, if you like, I'm doing one leg at a time, if two feels better, do them both at the same time. When you roll just to like the back of the knee space, we're getting length of that calf and then of course when if you're doing one like me you'll just want to switch do the other one just exploring there always interesting as we do our rolling to just notice I don't know I always seem to find some places where I'm like oh I didn't know that that needed that or that that was tight you get creative, use your body any way you like to get those rolls in. Everybody's going to be different, so it doesn't ever have to look like mine. All right, when you get done there, maybe just some big circles again with those feet. Let's flip over and roll out our tops of thighs. down right on those elbows find our plank position so do a little tuck in push the mat away pull your shoulders down abs in just some good plank strength work always good to sneak that in and then we're just going to roll back and forth and right, this is the one that usually you end up rolling up your mat a little bit um, keep your plank and just start with going back and forth feel the roller go kind of the length of the, your calves so it's from the like top of the knee all the way to almost like pubic bone. And then when you're ready, you can start adding some rotation and some, let's call it pike and twist, right? Lift your hips, rotate a little to one side. Lift your hips, rotate the other side. And really more than anything, I want you to be able to roll on those outer legs a little bit. Um, so just explore how that, how you can do that best. Let's do one more on each. And then go ahead and come up onto all fours. We'll use our roller for a little cat. Hands can be on the roller. 
knees under hips, hip width apart. You're gonna drop your head round your back, push into the roller. And then reverse that position in your spine. We kind of flatten out and then we might push the roller away from us, send our hips behind us. Just that big stretch from head to tail and then reverse that, pull the roller towards you, pull your abs up and in, push your thighs and hips forward. Let's do some flowy ones there. Roller pushes away, head lifts, tail reaches. And then we reverse. Now you can explore the kind of rolling through your arms and forearms here. You might flip your palms up. You might turn them in. Just for a little variety on there. Let's do one more. And then come in all the way back up. All right, let's head into our Pilates mat work. Let's get our hundred in. We're just going to take our roller out at the end of our mats. I like to get my feet in position almost before I roll down. So my heels kind of mid roller and then laying back all the way on the mat. So for our hundred today, let's take our arms up to the ceiling, anchor our shoulder blades, and then just bring awareness to your legs. Have that turn out and then push the roller away. I love how that gives me a little little stretch and length and feel just doing that right just that reach and then try to keep that reach that feel um always an option to leave your head down or propped or curl up into a grab curl keep reaching so we have that length in our waist and then let's pump inhale two three four five and exhale two three four five inhale two three four five and exhale two three four five big breath in then expand your chest Exhales where those abs pull a little deeper. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Remember to keep pushing the roller away and finding that length, even if you're up in that upper ab curl. Now, remember, if you're up here and you're like, oh, I need a little rest of my head now, keep pumping and breathing, abs pull it in, all the work, inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, let's do two more breaths, inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and then you get to roll back down. Go ahead and come up to seated. Let's grab our rollers and head into some roll down. Your roll down, always. Legs together, feet flexed. Maybe you want your legs bent. Maybe you want a strap or you have an anchor. I'm going to hold my roller, squeeze into it. Let myself just drape over for a moment. Take a little stretch. And then from there, kind of reconnect everything. Shoulder blades, feet, legs anchored. And roll down that first time. Kind of that check-in one. And then arms can reach overhead. We'll come right back up. Remember, it's fine to have legs bent. Do it your way. Inhale, halfway, exhale, we stretch all the way up and over. And then as you roll down, your shoulder blades anchor, your abs pull in, you feel that connect of your heels down into the mat as you roll down. We'll come right back up, lead with that roller, then your head, chest follows, and we just stretch up and over, and then rolling back down. That control, that work from our center, just kind of finding all of the pieces as we do that roll up and down. Inhale part way, exhale as you stretch all the way up and over. Inhale to roll down, and exhale. Make our way all the way down to that mat. Let's get one more. Finding that breath, it just helps us. And then back, when you lay down this time, stay there. Let's do a little um, roll over circles with our um, rollers today. So we'll lay on our mats, we'll do a bridge to get our roller under our hips so that we get a little transition work. We slide our roller underneath, kind of find your comfy spot there. And then let's take those legs up to the ceiling. Super glue them together, find those abs, pull it in, and then slowly lower to find your working level, right? 
wherever that is to kind of start class today. From that place, you'll pull the legs towards your face until you feel a nice stretch on your backside and you can't go any further without losing the roller behind you. Open your legs. You can go as wide as you can. It's up to you. Flex your feet. Draw a circle. Keep abs pulling in as those legs zip together. So we'll point our feet, noticing we're just getting that good foot and ankle work open, flex, right? Ankles flex, toes pull back towards you. Circle and hug those legs together. Pointed feet as you come overhead, your stretch place, open, flex, and circle as you come back around. Let's do one more. Inhale, and then that exhale, open, and circle, and come back around. Let's reverse it. Open the legs, bring them overhead, zip them together, flex at that point, reach through those heels, and lower back down. We open, pull them back overhead, zip them together, flex, Reach through those heels as you lower back down. Open, <coughs> excuse me, overhead, flex. And reach through those heels. We're gonna do one more. We'll open, pull them back toward us, zip the legs, flex, and coming back. All right, let's bring our left leg to the mat for one leg circle. Right leg is over our hip and the leg is turned out. You could have your left leg bent with your foot flat. You can slide it out a little further and just anchor your heel, a little more like traditional position. Let's keep our hips stable as we go across, around, and back up. Explore your range. Inhale, exhale, circle. Feel that tightening in from our center so we can control that leg circle. We go across, around, and back up. Let's do one more. Reach, circle. Pause over that hip. Let's reverse to that outside. Circle around and up. Inhale, exhale, and circle to that outside, and circle around to that outside, and circle one more. Bend that leg, plant your foot, send the left leg up to the sky, turn it out, and then figure out where you want to have that right leg. It can be flat, it can be out a little further. The further out you go, you get a little more stretch in the front of the hip. Anchor, of course, through that leg. Let's go across, around, and back up. You decide how big you want to make those circles. Your job to keep your shoulders anchored, your hips anchored. You should feel those abs pulling in to support your leg. And then feel that right leg just working to control it. I think we have one more. Let's reverse to that outside. Circle around, get at least five. To that outside and circle. Inhale. Exhale to come around, outside, and circle, last one. And then bring that foot to the mat. Let's open our legs, maybe a little, maybe mat width. And then while we're here, just a little knee sway where both knees reach over to the right. You can push through that left leg, a little stretch. Abs pull in, we'll roll our hips back to center, and then go the other way. Just explore that in your body. No right or wrong how far you go. See what you find as far as a stretch. Getting some movement through our low back. Shoulders staying anchored. I feel like I'm really reaching my knee away from me. So if we're twisting left, my right knee just reaches away to get that quad stretch. Top of the thigh stretch. I think we have one more to be even. Make yourself even on there. And coming back center. All right. Bridge to get out of here. We'll do a little pelvic tuck. Lift our hips. Push the roller out. And then just a roll down. Let's go ahead and roll up to a seat and get a little rolling like a ball in. Front of the mat. Feet together. Knees apart. Your rolling position. Always, of course, if rolling doesn't feel good for you, you can just practice knee ones or the balance at the top. Um, hands behind your thighs or on your shins, but lifted C curve, and then we'll rock. Big breath. Inhale to rock back. Exhale to rock forward. Feel, feel how big breaths 
kind of like puffs your chest out, right? Puffs your back ribs out. And for me, it feels like I get more ease in that role, more connection. Take those big breaths. Let's do two more. Last one. All right, let's head to our stomach series. Grab those rollers, put them behind your backs. We'll start with our little version of some one leg stretch. So favorite spot, tips of shoulder blades, a little higher, a little lower, whatever works best for you. Let's put those hands behind our head to support it. Right leg at tabletop, extend the leg out straight as you arch over the roller and then curl back towards your leg. Let's do five, inhale, exhale to come back up. Stretch long, curl it back in. Inhale, exhale, one more. Switch legs, left leg, reach the leg away, curl it back up. I always love that stretch in the front of my hip and thigh as I reach that leg, curl it in. Let's do two more. Appreciate that upper back, getting some massage time as we arch and curl. Okay, let's add our twist. We're back to the right leg. We extend the leg, arch over, curl up, twist toward that knee. Inhale, and exhale. Now we got that breath and movement. Still a little bit of that flow though. Let's get two more. We'll shoot for about five or more. Bonuses are always good. Arch and twist, and then we'll switch. Left leg, extend the leg, arch over, curl up, twist. Inhale, exhale, rotate. Big breath and twist. Let's do two more. Appreciate that leaning into those rollers. Go on massage work. All right, let's do roller under the hips for the rest of our series. We'll lay back on those mats, do a little bridge to lift our hips up, pull them underneath the vest, set those hips on there, send those legs up to the ceiling. We're gonna start with some scissors, nice straight legs, pointed feet. Go ahead and reach and grab the leg and give it a little pull towards you, but keep that leg nice and straight, kind of reaching, almost like the legs reaching in, away from you or into your hands every time. Abs are pulling in. So we get what I like to call the nice hamstring stretch as you pull in. And then that other leg has just lots of energy and seeing how far it can reach away from you. All right, inhale on one, exhale on the other. Let's do two more on each leg. And scissor, scissor, one more on each. Legs together over your hips. Flex your feet, point your feet. Flex your feet, point. All of this because we can watch. Right? We get lots of movement through our ankles, through our feet. One more point. Flex, hold in the strong flex. We're doing our helicopter legs there. We're going to scissor once, twice. Open, half circle the legs. Inhale, scissor, scissor. Abs are turned on to support your back through this action. Reach through your heels, reach through your heels. Open, half circle. Scissor, scissor, open half circle. Scissor, scissor, open half circle. Let's do two more. Scissor, scissor, open half circle. Scissor, scissor, open half circle. Good. Bend those legs to 90. Let's go into bicycle. Start bicycling. Maybe you want to start slow and work your way, right? Working level. The bigger you go, the more work it is from your center. You might find a little more stretch in the top of the thigh with those bigger reaches. Maybe getting all the way down to your mat. Let's do one more on each leg this direction. And then, of course, we got to reverse. We'll dip our foot down toward the mat, cycling the other direction. Always come back to that core work. Shoulders are nice and open. Head is tipping back. Abs are pulling in. Let's do one more on each leg. All right, let's get that double leg lower lift in. We squeeze our legs together. We'll do a pointed feet. Let's turn out the legs. We get a little turn out. And then slowly, we're going to inhale lower. 
find your working level, have a little pause moment, and then pull the legs back. It's like the appreciate the work moment, right? Lower, abs pull in. Where is that super challenge place? Just to hold your legs there, and then pull in even deeper to bring those legs back. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, as you bring it back. Let's do two more. You're just playing with your challenge place. Lots of like whole body work, legs reach. Pull them back in. Last one, best one. Reach it out, 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 out. Hold it a little and then pull it back in. Let yourself bend your legs in. Maybe you want to hang on to the backs of the legs. Let's take a stretchy moment here. All right, what feels good to you? Maybe you want to pull the legs back towards you and feel like you're doing like a little child's pose. Maybe you want to reach in. You can even like grab your big toes, grab your feet here. Really open the hips rocking side to side, shifting, anything really that feels good for your body in this position. We'll hang out for just a few breaths. When you're feeling ready to come out of there, bring those feet to the mat, do a little bridge to lift your hips up, push the roller out, and then roll all the way back down. Let's come to seated. We're gonna sit up on those rollers ourselves a little extra lean. Ooh, let's do roller sitting bones. So I'm sitting on my right sitting bone and I'm going to just see if I can go back and forth and kind of roll over top of my sitting bone to start with. Once I've done that a few times, I kind of can really feel it. Then I'm going to take the roller in front of the sitting bone. I'm going to straighten out my right leg. I'm going to lift tall. And I'm gonna do a little hinge forward to see what I find. <laughs> um, usually doesn't take me very much. So we're really just putting some pressure into those hamstrings. And then I like to do a little rock side to side, maybe a little shimmy. And right, just explore. We're just getting into those hamstrings a different way. And then of course we'll do it on the other side. So play around a little bit. Start with just finding your sitting bone. All right, go back and forth and see if you can really be on that left sitting bone. Let me know this feels like I'm clunking over the top of it. And then you're going to take the roller in front of the sitting bone, straighten out that left leg. See if you can maybe flex the foot even. Lift tall in your spine and then just lean forward a little bit. And if it feels like you want to wiggle, you can do things like little shift side to side. You can shimmy. I'm using my standing leg as like my shimmy leg. Right. And just, just be in those hamstrings. We're in the hamstrings, in them, on them, <laughs> and pretty close to where they all kind of come up and attach on those, on our sitting bones. And then we're just putting some pressure on them. If you're shifting, shimming your body or you're rolling back and forth, you're just moving through the tissues a little bit cueing them to relax and lengthen. All right, then let's head into spine stretch. Legs wide, up on your sitting bones as much as you can. Those rollers, arms out in front of you. Take a big inhale as you exhale. Take your time, bend through your neck, your upper back, middle, low back. Squeeze out your breath at the bottom. And then as you inhale, notice your hips upright, abs pulling in and just rolling up to that tall spine. And then we'll do it again, piece by piece, neck bends, upper back, middle, low. Hands can be on the mat if that works for you as you come forward. Second, third exhale, where your abs pull in so much, your back gets a little extra stretch. And then back up, let's do one more big inhale. Exhale down, second, third exhale. Inhale to come back up. Let's get some saw in. Arms to the side, big inhale. We're gonna exhale, rotate, curl forward, get a twist, twist. Inhale, center, exhale, twist, curl, twist, twist. Inhale, tall center. We rotate, round our spine forward. Try to keep our sitting bones anchored. Try to keep our pelvis kind of stable and still as our spine twists and curls forward over that leg. Let's do one more on each side. Use your breath to help you. And last one. And back. All right, let's get some swan in. Let's turn it over on our bellies. We'll take our rollers out in front of us. All 
arms can be shoulder width or a little wider. We'll have those palms just facing each other. Kind of get your setup first. Hover your face, active legs, your butt's working, you're reaching through your legs. Push your pubic bone down to the mat, but zip your belly up and in so your back feels nice and stable. And then let's do puppet arms where we lift our shoulders, pull our shoulder blades down our back. All right, really just focusing on feeling how much range our shoulder blades have. They can lift up, they can slide down. Do one more. This one, take it right to swan. Shoulder blades down in place. We lift our head, sternum, chest as you roll up. And then we kind of roll our front side back down, lengthen our neck to come back. Lift the shoulders at the bottom, pull them back down and do it again. Lift your head, sternum, chest, rise up. And then that roll back down. Lift your shoulders, slide them back down, head, sternum, chest. Just that breath and movement coming back. Now let's do two more. Keep energy in those legs. They can touch the mat or not, either side. Inhaling as you're rising up. Exhale as you're coming back down. Last one. Shoulder blades slide down. Head lifts. Chest. And coming back. Good. Just take your hands right under your shoulders. We're going to right to some one leg kicks. Do a little check in with those legs. Maybe hug them together a little. Lift your head and chest. Roll up into your swan. Swing those elbows out in front of you. Pull yourself forward. Inhale. We're going to kick, kick one leg. Exhale. Kick, kick the other. Have that lift of your thigh that just, man, makes us work, makes us get a little stretch in the top of the thigh. We're just alternating. Let's do three more on each leg. Kick, 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 kick. Keep pulling yourself upward. We're holding our swan, holding that extension. Kick, 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 kick. One more on each. Kick, 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 kick. Double leg kick. Put those rollers behind you on your back. Hold the edges of them. Hover your face. Big inhale. Exhale. Three kicks. Kick, kick. Inhale as you rise up, lift with those rollers. Exhale down, we kick, kick, kick. Inhale, we reach, lift the arms up. Exhale back down, kick, kick, kick. Inhale as you rise up. Exhale that kick, kick, kick. One more. And then back, set those rollers to the side. You can push back into child's pose or any other stretch that you love. Remember, that's always kind of your favorite version. You could have your legs together, you can have them apart. Kind of like a little bit of both. <laughs> Do what feels good for your body. Good. All right, let's get a little bridging. Let's do our. Um, one leg, one foot on the roller bridges. So I'm going to put that roller under my left foot to start with. You could do it either, of course. Um, so my foot is on the roller. My other leg is about hip width. Knees track over the middle of our foot. We've got our arms pressing in. We're going to just bridge there. Pelvic tuck. Lift your hips. Test out that first one. How far can you drive your hips upward? And then roll down, upper back, middle, low back, and release your hips at the bottom. Let's do it again. Tilt the hips, start lifting up, up, up. And then work your way back down, upper back, middle, low back, and release. All right, let's do a bonus one. Pelvic tuck, bridge. Lift up when you get there, really find your place. Lift those hips nice and high. And then if you want the bonus today, you can bend your leg in and then re-land it and lift at that moment. Let's do three. On that last one, you'll just stay there, take a breath, and then roll back down. Lots of that sequencing, moving through our spine, releasing hips at the bottom. All right, let's switch. We got our right foot on our roller, left foot is hip width ish apart. Already work before we start. We get that tilt of our hip. We start lifting up. We see how far we can kind of drive our hips upward. And then move through that upper back on the way down. 
mid back, just feeling your back to mat connections, we'll call them, as you go up and down. And then we'll do that again, tilt, start lifting up. Notice the strength in your arms, pushing down into the mat, and how that just helps you do it all better. Roll back down, upper back, middle, low, and release those hips at the bottom. All right, last one's the extra fun one. We tilt our hips, peel ourselves up, up, up. Kind of hold at the top, get a nice position to hold. And then if you're feeling like bonuses, you can bend your leg into tabletop, land your foot, relift. Of course, we're trying to hold our hips, but usually we drop at least a little, bend in, land your foot, lift, take a breath, roll back down, upper back, middle, low back, and then a release. Nice. All right, let's take our foot off of there. Let's get a little side leg series in. Let's use our roller for the bottom leg. Let's do a little straight leg series. So on the back edge of your mat for me, you can lay down on your bottom arm like me, or you can prop up your favorite. Wherever you're at, you just wanna keep your spine stable throughout this series. I have my leg stacked. Top hand could be on your hip, could be back here behind your head, or could be here on your mat in front of you. You decide, let's take that top leg to hip height. Let's just do our sweeps here. Flex, kick front, point, reach back. Inhale, flex, kick. Exhale, point, reach. Inhale, flex, kick. Exhale, point, reach. Inhale, flex, kick, exhale, point, reach. Let's do one more. Flex, kick, point, reach. Leg over the bottom leg. Let's just do a little bot mat. Spin your leg upward, point up, flex down. Strong through the bottom leg, pressing down into that roller. Point up, flex back down. Reach through the toes, reach through the heels. Keep those hips stacked. We got one more point. Flex, let's reverse. Flex our foot up, point to come back down. Keep checking in on that spin of your leg up toward the ceiling. Like, could you do it a little bit more? And back down. I think we got two more. Lift, lower one more time. Lift, and lower. And then let's just do a little rond de jambe. Leg at hip height, sweep forward, lift, and circle behind you. Inhale for about half of that action, and then exhale. How big you go, just your working level, right? All right? Where it feels like a good challenge to circle and not move that upper body. Inhale for half, exhale for that second half. Let's get two more. Feel that strength work even through the bottom leg. Definitely that whole body work. Last one, and circle, and then reversing. Sweep that leg straight back, lift as you come up and over. Inhale, in line with your hip, and then we lift in half circle. That energy all the way out through the bottom of your foot, through your toes. We'll sweep behind, lift, and half circle. Let's do one more, think, and then come back, good. Okay, let's lift, let's do it all on our other side. Those guys in. When you're ready, you can have that hand, remember, on the mat, on your hip, or up here on your head. We got our legs stacked, bottom leg on that roller, top leg at hip height. Let's do some sweeps. Flex, kick, point, reach. See if you can find that stretch the back of your leg, and then stretch the front of the hip. Inhale, kick, kick. Exhale, reach, reach. Core turned on that whole time. Flex, kick. Point, reach, we're gonna do one more. Flex, kick, point, reach. Leg to the bottom leg, spin your leg upward for bottom out, we'll point up, flex down. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Just keeping our hips stacked. Such good strength work, getting those lift and lowers. Let's do one more, point and flex. Let's reverse, flex your foot to lift up, 
point to reach back down. Reach to your heels, reach to your toes. Reach to your heels, reach to your toes. Two more, lift and lower and lift and lower, good. All right, let's do those rondes jambes, leg and hip height. Sweep forward and then lift and reach the leg behind you. Inhale for half, exhale for that second half. Bottom leg pressing in gives us that strength and stability, so keep it active. Sweep forward, lift, half circle behind. We got one more, sweep forward, lift, half circle behind. Now we get to reverse straight back and then that lift, half circle. Check in with your core, like that active, pull your abs in, All right? Maybe check in with your top shoulder blade anchored in place. We get two more. Bottom leg pushes down as that top leg circles. We got one last one. Reach behind and lift and half circle. Good. All right, let's come up to seated. Let's get our mermaid in. Whatever side you want to start on, I put my legs folded to my right and my left hand on my roller, but you could do it either way. Remember, if this position doesn't work for you, you can always adjust it. Put those legs in front of you, sit up on something. We'll side bend toward the roller, big inhale. And then exhale to stack back up, take that stretch up and over. And then back to center, inhale into your side bend. And then exhale to come back up. Inhale into that side bend and center. And then a twisty one. We're gonna go out into our side bend, rotate around, put our hands on our roller, push the roller away, pull it back toward us, doing our little twisted swan. Let's do like three of those. Inhale and exhale. And then just a hangout one, just a be where it feels like a good stretch for you. Maybe use the roller to prop, maybe you come down to the mat, take some big breaths. And then as you're ready to come out of it, unwind, stack back to center, take one more stretch up and over that other way. Bonus twist, take the hand on the head and rotate in, unrotate and back to center. And then of course we get to switch, rearrange those legs. Z sit if it works for you and if it doesn't, find something that does, legs in front, sometimes just lifting your hip up a blanket or a pillow or something is super helpful. When you're ready, you can side bend toward the roller, pull it towards you to stack back up. Get that reach up and over and back to center. Inhaling as you go up, exhale as you're coming back. All right, more than anything, just finding kind of your breath. And then let's do our Side bend, twist toward the roller, and then a little twisted swan where we push away and then pull the roller toward us as we lift our head and chest. Right, we're moving in and out of that extension, but we're in a twist. And then just a play with your stretch moment. Like that feels good. You can use your roller, you can not use the roller, you can come all the way down to the mat. Just be where it feels good for your body. When you're ready to come out, you're gonna unwind. You're gonna untwist yourself, pull yourself back up tall. Take one more stretch up and over the other way. Hand behind your head, we'll rotate in for that last little twist. And then back to center. And then we are all done for today. Thank you for joining me for some foam roller movement self-care time. Have a great week and I'll see you soon.